I'm going to redirect you guys. I need your attention up here a little bit. And I'm looking at all these findings that you came up with, and I'm finding, I, I heard all of you say of these things. With all, everything that we did, I need someone to share with me a rule or a formula that they came up with to find the area of a triangle. Sheena. Well, um, so when we, got, we had two of them, I'm you, we have one with divided by two. Where are you coming up with this? Because when, we, when you cut the square in half, that's half. And like, when you get like 36, because that's a whole square, and half of it's 18. So like if you had another, any square, any square, and you did um, the length times the width, and then you divided that in half, you get your answer. How do you know to divide? Where are you getting this dividing by 2? I'm curious of where you're coming up with that. When we started with a whole square, it was 36. But then you have to cut it in half for a triangle. Why do you, I'm wondering why you need to do that. Could it, um, so, so we could have a triangle so we know how many halves. And in each one we had 18 in each of our squares. OK. Is there another way that, can someone tell me or share with me another way that we could write the same formula to see if it would still work? Patience. Um, um, Without changing what you're saying. Um, half times, half of length times width. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Why? How, is, how do you know? How can you prove that that's the same well, thing? Like, um, when like when you're dividing um, two, well, um, cause dividing two does two um, um, parts of the square and half does two half. I mean, does two parts and that's half of the square. I think they're the same thing because um, one times, I mean, a bit, um, length times width divided by two and half of um, length times width. Um, is, I think it's the same thing because um, cause two divided by um, the length and width, it, it's like. Um, it means 30, it's 36 and half of um, length time width is 36 too. How do you know that? Because um, the length and width all together is 36 and half of it is 18. Chase. Yeah, because when you write two, it's just another way of saying half. Oh, when I say two, anytime that I say two, it's the same as saying half. No, when you say length times width divided by two, it's oh, another divided way of saying two. divided by half. What if I did this? I'll use it in red so you can see it. What if I did Do those mean the same things? It's two like parentheses or the parentheses. Yeah, parentheses that cover that one. That's probably why people said they're different. But are they? I need some people that haven't participated to help me out. Do you think that that means the same thing? Kevin Scott I think you could come up with 18 with that because that's the same thing as the other one. It's just a turnaround fact. How do you know that? Because, like, it's one time the width equals one half, but the other one was one half times one equals the width. Patience? I think it's the same because um, on the um, one, the um, half of length times width equals 18 and half 36 is 18. I think it's the same because um, it's this kind of um, like a, it's turned around or it, or it's just like um, it doesn't have the up in it. I think it's the same thing too. Sheena? Well, I think, I think it's the same thing as the two up there. It just doesn't go like the first, like how we have the second one. We have it like half of length time width. It's just the opposite. It just has length time width and then you have the half. Chase? I think that's just like what we did because we're cutting in half one of ours and leaving the other one, and they're cutting the half one of theirs, but they're just using list time width, so we, we're using numbers. Patience. Well, um, Chase, when you say, like, um, it's kind of the same, but you're just using the number, I disagree with you because, um, because, um, when Miss Plossy said that, um, we gotta make, um, like, formulas that we're always gonna use when we, um, when we do triangles, because, um, we're not always gonna use, like, the six and the threes and all that stuff. You know what, that brings me to a good point. Are these two formulas, can we use them universally with all right triangles? How can we do half of length times width? I'm wondering how that one would work well, for when here. you have um, two triangles, and then you like do six times eight in it, that equals, um, 
that equals like the whole triangle or something else that a different number. And but then when you do half of it and then you take like this one away and then um and then you just have this half of um length times width because when you put when you put these two together. So now you're saying that I can do half of length times width. What about half of length? I don't, I'm still confused where, where that parentheses in the multiplication, half of length. Four. If my length was eight, half of my length was four times my width, Six. which gives me 44. Or can I do my length times my width, and I'm going to multiply times half, which is going to give me 24. So are these two formulas, can we use them universally with all right triangles? Yes. Yeah.